Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I will also throw my Instagram name up on the screen if you'd like to go check out my content there. So today I am starting a brand new series here on my channel and it's going to be my Disney series. That's going to be officially what I label this, but I am going to be doing kind of like two looks and one video. This is going to be a longer series. It's going to be every Monday. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It's literally probably going to be so long because I have quite a few looks in mind. ColourPop within the last year has came out with two different Disney collections and they started out with a Disney designer collection that was based around six Disney princesses. And then from there, it took off so well that they came back with a whole collection on Disney villains and they chose six Disney villains. So I really want to incorporate each one of the princesses and villains that they put in their collections, but there's more to it than that. <laughs> so what I want to do is a two part and each video. So I'm going to be showing you guys my take on the princess and then my take on the villain. I'm going to try to keep these videos as short as possible and do as much makeup as I can off camera, but I'm going to be focusing mainly on the ColourPop products. So when I get to those products, I will be showing you guys them and talking about them and stuff like that because there is some that I haven't even used from the collection. I'm going to, in the beginning of these, when I get to the first part, which is going to be the princess, I'm going to link up above my Disney princess video that I did back in, I want to say October or November on the collection and where I tried out some of the products. The only thing from that collection that I did not try out was their Super Shock shadows that came with them. They're still in their packaging and everything. I'm going to be using the Super Shock shadow, the... Um, highlight that came with that one and also of course jumping back into this as well. I also have the lipstick so it's going to be full on ColourPop Disney. I wanted to tell you guys that that I do have first impressions on the princess one and the villain. So like I said in each one of these videos I will link my Disney princess ones right above when I'm starting the princess look and then I'll link my villains one as soon as I start the villain. So as soon as we start the villain in this one you guys can click that link and go to but they will also be at the end of this video since it is the first one out of the series. But yeah so... I'm going to be doing my favorite Disney princess, which is Ariel. She always was my favorite growing up. I went through a spell where I watched The Little Mermaid every single day. And then when I discovered The Little Mermaid 2, I watched it all the time too. <laughs> so today I'm going to be doing Ariel x Ursula. So First, I'm gonna go ahead and start with Ariel. I do already have my brows done. I wanted to go pretty natural with them, so I did just use my Tarte Busy Gal Brows and the shade Taupe, and then I put some Delectable Everything Balm over them just to keep them down and in place. I am gonna go dewy with my foundation today, but I went ahead and used my Milani Prime Light Face Primer to give me a little bit of a glow. It's been a while since I've used this, so yeah, I just kinda of wanted to get it back out. I do have my eyelids concealed with some Smashbox. Studio Skin Concealer in the shade Fair, and we're gonna go ahead and jump into this palette and this little Super Shock Shadow, which I'm so excited about because it is gorgeous. I do just wanna put the disclaimer out there that I am not turning myself into Ariel. I'm not turning myself into Ursula. I'm not turning myself into any of these princesses or villains. Maybe one of these days if I'm talented enough for that, but I'm not right now. <laughs> so this is just going to be pretty much focusing on the products from ColourPop, but also I'm just inspired by them, you know, that type of ordeal. So this is just inspo look. So this is going to be an Ariel inspo look and an Ursula inspo look. Just wanted to throw that out there and I'll try to mention it in all these videos so nobody gets confused. I am going to blend that concealer out again because it's getting a little creasy. So the Super Shock shadow that I have to play with for Ariel looks like this. It is like a bright, green color. It almost has like a blue throw to it too. 
So I just get the ocean vibes with this, but I also get her actual mermaid tail vibes with this. So I went with the purple backdrop so that I had her bralette going on and I'm going to be putting the shade all over my lid today because I've been so excited to play with this shade. This is called Under the Sea. These are so beautiful. I will swatch this for you. It is so pretty. You do have to build it up just a little bit, but beautiful. And on the lid, it's going to look so pretty. But the twist on this too is that I'm also going to be trying to use the shades in this palette that are named after the Little Mermaid movie. So we have Triton and Thingamabob. And Triton is going to be my crease because it is the shade right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it with a blender brush. I'm gonna be using my Morphe M576. And I'm gonna go right into Triton, and go ahead and start blending that lightly into that transition. The Thingamabob shade in this is like a very metallic silver. So I'm gonna come back to this shade. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and focus in on under the C. I'm gonna take this on my finger and just pat this across my lid. The shade is so beautiful. I'm gonna add a little bit more just to really make it pop. And then I'm gonna go back into Triton, that blender very lightly. I'm gonna take this back in that crease. So pretty. So now I'm going to pause for a minute and I'm gonna go off camera and do some of my face makeup and I'll be back. And just like that, I am back. So like I said, I wanted to go dewy today. So I threw on my Do You full coverage from Too Faced in the shade Swan. Then I went back into my Smashbox Studio Skin Fair. And under my eyes, I use my brightening powder from Kat Von D in the shade Petal. And then the rest of my face, Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder from Flower Beauty. Morphe Brontour in the shade Glitterati. You guys know I like to contour this side and then kind of bronze up with the other side. And then for blush, for Ariel and Ursula, I'm going to be using this NYX blush palette. This is the Sweet Cheeks. And for Ariel, I use this peachy light pink shade over here. Now I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm gonna take Thingamabob. And I'm going to run this along my lower lash line, but also maybe a little bit in the very inner corner. So after seeing how intense this shade is, I'm actually just going to put this on my inner corner. <laughs> I'm actually going to take Triton and run that along like my lower lash line a little bit. I'm also going to take this liner here, I believe. No, let's go more green. Yeah, I'm going to take this liner here from ColourPop. This is the shade Teaspoon. And I'm going to put this in my waterline to make it a little bit more green. I'm also gonna take some more of Under the Sea, pat that on my lid. So as you guys know, with the Villains collection, each villain got their own highlighter. That did not happen with the princesses. They actually only came out with two highlighters for the whole collection, but one of the highlighters just so happened to be part of your world and it is a light pink. I'm gonna be using this highlighter today. For a little extra, I'm just gonna pat some on with my finger. Also going to take a little bit of this on my brow bone. Again, with the dewiness, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set, and then I'm going to throw on some of my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And 
And the last touch is my Ariel lipstick. So again, I'm not Ariel, I'm not doing a transformation, just inspo, but I absolutely love this. I feel like it's so fun and colorful and that's just the vibes you get with Ariel's personality in general, but I think all of it went together pretty decently. I do kind of wish that the color story from this palette was different than what it is. It was nice to have Triton as a good like transition shade. I kind of feel like if it was a little bit cooler toned, it would have been a lot better for this look in particular. I think this shade is just absolutely gorgeous and I love it. Thingamabob I know is a silver because a thingamabob is a fork <laughs> and I think it's really pretty but I feel like with a look like this it's really hard to kind of throw in the mix so that's why it was perfect for the inner corner to add brightness there but that was honestly as far as I could go with that shade. Um, the highlighter is really pretty. I will swatch it for you guys too. This is Part of Your World. It is a rather pink highlight. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Probably not. It's very pale pink, but on my pale skin, it might be a little hard to see. But yeah, beautiful. I was really excited to play with Ariel's shades in general, mainly because of the Super Shock shadow, but also the slip color. I love Ariel's slip color, and I wear the shade all the time. But now it is time to get a little bit darker and go into Ursula. Okay, so as you guys can see, I did a little bit of hair makeup today. I wanted to show you guys a little bit of it, but this is the new L'Oreal Paris Colorista hair makeup. So I got the for brunettes and black hair. It's a one day color. Super cool, it comes like in a squeezy tube. I actually left mine in the bathroom, but you can actually just use your hands. I do feel like I have a little bit of staining on the tips of my fingers and my nails, but Besides that, I've washed off really good. But what this is, is it's just kind of like hair makeup. You can play around with different colors, and when you wash your hair, it comes out completely. It is not a permanent, it's not a semi-permanent, it's just hair makeup. I will follow up with you guys on that though, and how <laughs> it like really works and stuff, because with this series, I'm hoping I can play around with my hair more too with the Disney villains. So yeah, I am going to try to film some because I'm the type of person where I wash my hair like once or twice a week, you know, like I shower, but I only wash my hair once or twice a week just, just, just because it's not like great to wash your hair too often. So I will have this hair for a little while because of that. And I will try to film some other videos just so that I can mix it up a little bit with my hair. But yeah, I think it's kind of cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into Ursula's makeup. For Ursula, I'm wanting to go matte. So I do already have my brows on. I use my Universal Brow Pencil from It Cosmetics. And then I went over that with Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Now I am priming my face with my One Step Prime from Stila. I'm gonna be using my Estee Lauder Double Wear, so I'm gonna go ahead and Conceal my eyes with that too. I will also go ahead and link my Disney Villains collection first impressions up above for you guys. Go check it out. It's more like recent than the Disney Princesses for sure. So just like the Disney Princess collection, the Disney Villains came with a palette. This is the Misunderstood palette. These are the shades. So from Little Mermaid, we have, I believe just two as well, which is Flotsam and Jetsam, which is actually Ursula's ills. We also have the Jelly Much Shadow, which is just your voice is what it's called. And it looks like this. So we're gonna have fun with this one too. With Jelly Much shades, I do like to just put them over the lid too. It's probably gonna be a lot of looks like that, but it's gonna be so cool seeing like the different colors come together. So first I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into Tragic in this palette with another blender brush. And I'm going to take the shade up here first. I need some kind of transition going on before I start throwing all the other colors into the mix. I 
I'm lightly taking this all the way up to my brow bone. Now I'm gonna go in to Flotsam, and this is going to be my inner corner highlight, my brow bone highlighter. So I'm going to go ahead and run this up here. I'm thinking I'm going to put Flotsam besides the inner corner, it's just gonna be my brow bone. And then I'm going to put just your voice, the Jelly Mudge, all over my lid. And Jetsum, I think I'm going to save for the lower lash line. So it's kind of like one on bottom, one on top with the other shade right smack in the middle. I'm wanting to still be kind of sultry with this. Almost like I'm doing Vanessa, which is what Ursula turns into. Now I'm going to go ahead and take that Jelly Much. And I'm actually going to apply this with my finger. I can't, you can apply these with a the brush too, and they apply pretty decently with the brush. I'm just going to apply the shade all over the lid. I did kind of stop a little bit in the inner corner just because I want to add some more of Flotsam there. I'm going to let this dry for just a minute and then we'll blend around the edges with a little bit more of Tragic. But I am going to jump back into Flotsam and take that on that inner corner and up a little bit. As you guys can see, I'm kind of blending it into just your voice, just so we don't have any harsh lines going on. Now I'm going to go back into Tragic and just kind of blend this around that shade. I'm going to add just your voice back on there to add a little bit more pigment. Just trying to avoid the edges so we don't like have to get rid of a harsh line again. And just like last time, I'm gonna jump into some face makeup for a minute and I'll come back so we can do the lower lash line. And I am back. So full matte moment, I went into my Tarte Shape Tape Matte Foundation. This is Fair Neutral Shade. And then back into Double Wear Concealer, I used my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder, NARS Laguna. And back into that NYX palette, I took this deeper berry shade here. As time consuming as it's going to be, I will put all the makeup that I used for my Ariel look and Ursula look both down in the description box if you missed a step or you wanna know a certain product. But now we are going to jump in to this right here, which is the Super Shock highlighter, but this is in a compact instead of the regular packaging. This is the shade Poor Unfortunate Souls and it looks like this. It's almost about the same vibe as part of your world, and I'm gonna try this with a highlighting brush, but I may have to just go into it with my fingers. I forgot, they do have mirrors on them. That's so nice. So pretty. Now I'm going to go back into my eyeshadow. I am going to put the littlest amount of pigment back on that Just Your Voice shade right up top here. So beautiful. Now I'm going to take Jetsum, which is kind of like a metallic blue shade as well. I actually used this shade in my Villains uh, video that I did. It was really pretty, but I'm actually going to run this along my lower lash line. That definitely gave me more of that sultry, smoky moment I was going for. Now I'm going to set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter. For mascara, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Perversion, but I am, for Ursula, going to be throwing on some Wispies from Ardell. And the very last step is, of course, 
the Ursula lipstick. And this is going to be a very out there look because Ursula's lipstick is a matte, but it is a very deep berry purple shade. Gosh, for being a matte, that is so creamy. I mean, it does look matte, but like to apply it, it's so comfortable. It's such a comfortable matte. And here we have the Ursula look. I think it's very sultry, very smoky. I love it. I feel like it just fits that personality. And again, I'm not trying to create a look that looks just like them. I'm just going off of inspo from them. And I think both of these were so pretty. I think ColourPop killed it on the shades for Ursula and Ariel. So beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoy this whole series that I'm doing. Again, it's going to be a rather long series, so it's going to be a commitment to every single Monday for a while, but I am going to have so much fun with this. I already know it and I'm sorry I'm kind of fast paced with it. It's just because with two looks in one video, I have to really get with it. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy this and thank you guys so much for watching. It means so much to me. And I will see you guys in my next video.